What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. We are getting ready for Mardi Gras here, and we've already made some jambalaya, we've made some stuffed peppers, dirty rice. There's only one more thing left to make. The pinnacle of Louisiana cuisine, gumbo. We are making smoky red pepper and beans gumbo tonight. As always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. So the thing I'm most excited about is uh, roasting these peppers. So as I said, this is smoky red peppers gumbo. So we have our red peppers here. You need three of them. If you don't have one of these nifty blow torches, just stick it in the oven for 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes, just until they start getting black. But we're doing it the fun way tonight. And once you're done with all three, Stick them into a heat proof bowl and we're going to put a plate on them so they can let all the, the steam take the skins off. Alright, you want to let this sit for about 15 minutes so that it's cooler and you can easily take the skin off. Now, let's start chopping all the other veggies. You're going to need some more bell peppers and some onions and some other stuff. Smells like burnt pepper in here. I think our red peppers have cooled and softened enough. So they're not coming off as uh, easily as I would have liked. But that's probably because I didn't roast them enough. Ideally these would peel right off. But uh, since they're not, I'm just going to take a peeler. And I'm not going to worry about getting everything off. If you leave some on, give it a nice smoky flavor. All right, now we're getting to the cooking part. Get a large soup pot, and we're gonna start with a roux. And we wanna add margarine. Wait till that's all melty. In the meantime, go ahead and start chopping your other veggies. All right, so the Veganomicon said the best thing to do was to get frozen okra. You want to thaw a little bit, and we're gonna Cut them a little bit more. All right, now that we're done chopping the entire neighborhood's produce, get back to your roux, add your flour. Now we're gonna cook this for about 10 to 14 minutes. Make sure to stir it. In the meantime, go ahead and grab your beans, drain them, rinse them, all that good stuff. All right, we're starting to smell a little toasty. So go ahead and throw in your onions and all of your peppers. Got a lot going on here. Now you wanna make sure to coat everything well. Get all that roux up in there. Starting to worry that this pot isn't quite big enough. Now we want to raise this to a medium high and then we're going to cook it till everything's really soft. At least 12 minutes. Fun fact! Bell peppers are actually fruit, not vegetables. Similar to tomatoes, they are part of the nightshade family. As bell peppers mature, their sugar and nutritional content increase which means that red bell peppers are a little bit healthier for you. They contain more vitamin A and C, as well as lycopene, which the green pepper does not have. And of course, the more that you cook a bell pepper, the more nutrients are lost, so it's best to just lightly cook them or eat them raw. Eat your bell peppers. All right, now that our peppers and our onions are soft, we're going to add our other veggies, our celery, garlic, and okra. And we're going to cook this for another six minutes. Now we're going to add our tomatoes, fire roasted if you got it, and beans, and vegetable broth. And now, a very special ingredient, we're going to mix some beer, one cup of it, with three tablespoons of tomato paste, whisk it around, and then add that to this. All right, we're going to stir this in very carefully. Would have never thought to add beer to gumbo, but there you go. Now that that's incorporated, we're going to stir in our allspice, pinch of nutmeg, fresh is the best if you got it, half a teaspoon of liquid smoke flavoring. This stuff is awesome. A little goes a long way. And lastly, we're going to tuck in our sprigs of thyme and our bay leaves. 
We're gonna raise the heat. Bring it to a gentle boil. Okay, it actually didn't tell me, once again, when to add the oregano. So, I feel like this is a good time to do that. Oregano. All right, we are at a gentle boil. So we're gonna lower it back down to a medium, partially cover it, and simmer for 35 to 45 minutes. You wanna make sure to stir this occasionally and wait for the okra to get tender. All right, we're about 15 minutes out, so we're gonna start on our rice. Traditionally, the thing that you eat with a gumbo. So here we go. Okay, I think our gumbo is done. So we're gonna turn the heat off, and you wanna let this sit for at least 15 minutes. We've waited long enough. Let's grab our Time sprigs out, if I can remember how many I put in there. Now we're gonna do our final seasoning. Our salt, pinch of cayenne, and some fresh pepper. Pretty sure every time I've made gumbo, and this is the first time I've made this recipe, it always seems to be very overflowing, which I feel like is kind of the way gumbo should be made enough for the entire city. Let's try. First off, this smells delicious. The beer really adds an extra depth to this that I guess it needs. I'm excited to try it. Mmm, mmm. This is really good. And let's be honest, you have to have some hot sauce. I've also heard that some people add potato salad to their gumbo, which seems a little strange to me. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It doesn't need hot sauce, but I feel like you have to eat hot sauce with like every bite, pretty much. This is a delicious, delicious gumbo. The difference between the peppers, the red and the green, you can taste. Like I said, that beer really gives it an extra depth. If you make one dish this Mardi Gras, make it this gumbo. It's worth the time, everybody will love it. And hell, put some potato salad in there too. All in all, this is a Perfect, delicious gumbo. It's better than the recipe that I make. Would I make this again? 100% yes, and you should too. So if you did like this and you think you'd make it, hit a thumbs up, I would love you for it. And make sure to subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. Have a fun Mardi Gras. Okay, go get some water. Alexa, how much time is left? No time is left. Gumbo.